Hello, everybody. Sir Chris here. Today we're going to play The Long Dark. I've got a few things that I'm still setting up, but I just wanted to, uh, to say hello. Almost ready. Um, hello, Bueller's Day Hall. Welcome. All right. I think I'm good. So. Well, it's been a while since we made it through another night. Uh, played the long dark. The last time we played, we killed, well, we killed this bear. It's not a lot left of them, except as uh, stakes and we're kind of sitting pretty. We've got a lot of food, we've got a lot of supplies, um, and it's not entirely clear what we're sort of driven to do. Um, I'm probably going to take. I, I'm, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do, actually. That's part of the reason why I haven't played, is that I just don't quite know, because um, we kind of don't need to do anything except sit here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore some in the woods and just. Um, Just kind of explore. Once we've gone through this bear meat, we'll check out another um, another mat. Um, what was I looking for? We made a bunch of snares. Maybe we'll carry the snares back up to the the uh, the house. And however much of this meat we can carry. It's actually a little bit dangerous because uh, wolves will be attracted to us. Um, yeah, so I'll leave. Oh, we have a cured gut, so. Uh, I'll go ahead and make another trap, another snare. And we'll just kind of sprinkle them all over um, up at the house. Okay, let's check our lockers. Ooh, it's kind of bad weather. All this hasn't cured, or that is to say, none of this has cured. Um, we've got some cooked meat there. Um, now these arrows we were going to use to craft, um, although more arrows when we need them. We've got a hunting rifle here. Maybe we can actually leave this one here, because we have another back up at the house. I'm going to grab these, and we've got five arrows, that's plenty. So I'll, I'll just leave all this. Um, we're at 40, 49 pounds. Oh dear. Oh. 
think that's good. So the, so the idea is we'll make a trip back to the house. We'll just sort of put things around. We'll put the traps down. And then um, we'll head back here and make a trip out into the woods. Um, kind of just for for kicks. I don't, um, don't know the map super well. Just a few key interest points. So we'll see what we can find. I think that I think that looks good. So I'll leave the cooked bear meat. Let's actually, you know what? We kind of want this stuff, most of it. Uh, yeah, we want most of it here to make um, snares and to make lime. Um, I'll carry a little bit back to the house for repairs. Maybe one more. Um, the bear hide, honestly, we're probably not going to do anything with it. But I think I can leave it here. If we do craft, it'll be here, so... Um, all right, so let's carry half this meat back to the house. We already smell pretty bad. Maybe it's a bad idea. Should we just leave? If we're gonna go exploring. Um, so my thought is Need to last a long time, and uh, shouldn't worry too much about it. Just leave it out in the snow. The biggest problem is bear, uh, wolves. Um, and the other thing that uh, it's kind of hard to see, so probably don't want to run out into the woods until it clears up. Looks like a deer. Um, not this, I mean, this looks like a deer as well. But in the distance. Why not? so easy when it's, when it's green. Like it's slightly otherworldly. So I'll tell you, we are living the high life here on the river now that we've got all these arrows. I think we can hunt deer for quite some time. So easy to see them and to chase them down. There's a fantastic story. Uh, it's a, it's from a book, but there's a reading of it on um, or excerpts on NPR's uh, All Things. I mean, not All Things. It's a, um, this American Life uh, by Scott Carrier talks about how he read or he heard that the way let's say early humans chased down 
pray. Was through um, exhaustion. And the idea is uh, um, that you chase, let's say, a deer. You just chase it, right? And, you know, deer take off. And, um, of course, the deer is going to run faster than you. But uh, as long as you can still see it, you can follow it. And if it veers right, maybe you can um, veer right as well. And if you're on a plane, out in the plains, it's not so hard to keep track of it, just like out here on the ice. And um, a lot of these animals aren't meant to run for long periods of time. They're very good sprinters. But they're not so good at... Uh, at running long distance. Uh, but humans are. But humans are very good at running long distance and can just keep running um, for hours and hours and hours. And the deer, uh, the prey, will eventually overheat out in the hot sun and collapse, at which point the hungry human can catch up and have a meal. Um, and he talks about, he's, he's, he's really great the way he speaks. He talks about uh, how he and his, he convinced his brother to try to do this, or I think his brother. And um, they actually went out and tried running down some bison or antelope. I think it was antelope. Um, that's all the story. I mean, you'll, you'll have to go listen to it. it sounds interesting. But... Do we not have any dried wolf pelts? Oh, just kidding. JK. Um, Alright, so the point of this is to put stuff away, to set out traps. Um, now, I think when the... When the Back in the old days, I think the rabbits would stay healthy in the traps, but that's not the case anymore. I think they actually decay. But, um, how do we have so many matches? Like, really? Uh, I guess it's 40 in a book when they're full. Um,. Um, he convinces his brother, and they go try, and uh, it's really interesting. That's some reclaimed wood. Let's drop that down. This is there's some something soothing I think about putting all this stuff away, but I know it's a little boring. But maybe this is not the game for you if uh, a little bit of boring bothers you. Um, we have all these flares. The flares have been moderately useful, let's say that. Um, but I wouldn't say a lot useful. A lot of times the the wolves just kind of go, yeah, that's nice, and bite you. switch out to good tools instead of um, sharpening because that'll give us more options later on. 
knife looks pretty good. The hook. Um, don't really need a hook. We need to decide what kind of clothes we want to carry. Out on this little north expedition. Of uh, stuff to cook. Also, the birch sapling. So I think it's maple makes the bow, birch makes the arrow. Uh, question is. Are the saplings used for anything else? I don't think so. I think that's it. Um, what's it? Sorry about that. Um, right, so I was going to bring the, the sapling back down. Um, whoa. Easy there, buddy. Um, You know, the map would be so much more useful if it had an arrow indicating where you are, or if you could, like, you could get a compass so that you could do some, you know, figuring. But as it stands, the map is pretty much useless. Maybe it gives some perspective, I guess. Um... So we've got on our good clothes. I think that's fair for, for going out. Um, question is, should we carry a bedroll? And how heavy is it? It's only two pounds. Um, yeah, let's carry. So we're kind of uh, not exactly simple people. We've got all sorts of fancy gear. But whatever. All right, I think we've put everything we want to put here. So we'll, uh, we'll go lay these traps. And actually, I think we have one up, so we'll see how that's doing. Ooh, the weather doesn't really look a whole lot better. Um, I was hoping it would have cleared up by now. Sounds like it's blowing too. Alright, so our trap is right. Man, I wish I wish you could get rid of those crows. Like, I know that that body is there. Where's our... Ruined? What happened to it?
what happened to this uh, thing? It's only been a couple of days. It's kind of weird. Maybe I should place them all. So it could be that um, storms damage them. I mean, that would make sense. Um, but I don't know. At any rate, I'm going to put the last, the, the other snares inside. Oh, well, speak of the devil. And um, that will have them. So we're at 45 pounds. That's honestly, that's pretty good. We don't have any food on us, but uh, it's not bad, really. I'd love to get that moose. Now, I, I'm scared of the moose. I wouldn't attack him with the bow, I don't think. Now, we only have three bullets. Okay, I hate to do this, but... One more time. This is it. This is it. But you know, it's one of those things where sometimes you just have to do the inconvenient thing. Just because it's the right thing to do. We're going to grab some more bullets. And if we see the moose, we'll be ready. Um, we'll do him like the bear. these rifle clean kits. We'll even bring one of those. Um, I'm just kind of thinking we'll make a little secondary base there and we'll have some basic supplies. So let's bring another one of these. Oh, have we not read this? Alright. Okay. I'm going to head back. Still waiting for the weather to clear up, but we can make it back. Um, Looks like a deer. We certainly don't need food right now. But uh, I always like seeing the deer. Because it means there's no wolves, at least in the vicinity. There are bodies. about noon. It's kind of late, but I'll still probably go out if uh, if the fog lifts. Um, otherwise, we'll stick around this little cabin. Maybe pick up wood. Kind of stuff. Every time I play this game, I realize how much I need to keep my monitor. I never do, because then I stop playing and then I forget. Uh, it's like, yeah, I mean, I know there's a corpse. We've... We looted it, like, 40 days ago. I just don't need it. Hasn't he been fixed plane? Get over it. Get over yourselves, birds. Build a bridge. And then take that bridge. Over it. Uh, 
Um, might be traversable. I mean, you can see a little bit. I guess I'm not too concerned about getting lost on this map, but yeah, you know that might not be a great attitude to have. Um, because you've got the ocean on the one side and you've got mountains on the other, so. Alright, got that. Put the feather. Just put the sapling. So if I wait, um, drop some sticks. Pick up some water. And some food. I'm not going to carry the rifle, that's for... ...exciting times. Alright. Last thing. If I, uh, believed that I wouldn't pick up more sticks, I would, uh... Just keep them, but I can't, I can't help myself. Uh, so tantalizing. Six. Ooh. You never know when you might need a stick. How many calories are these? Ooh, ten thousand. I mean, a thousand. All right. Um, Another little second here. I, uh, okay. I, I apologize. There's just, um, I released some code right before start a stream, which is probably a bad idea. Um, oh god, I think it's worse. So, these steaks, even though they're cooked, they still smell. Okay. Um, and we've seen these wolves are kind of ridiculous. Um, let's, let's go follow the river. It's not cold. This must have been where we uh, downed the bear. It's not cold. Um, now, you know, the weather can change in a second. But we're pretty prepared. We've got all of our um, nice warm clothes. You know, sleeping bag. So, um, we had some, like a weird little thing with this bear that we fought, where we shot it, and it didn't die. We followed it, we lost it, it, it 
went back. And it didn't appear to be bleeding anymore. And apparently, I looked on the forums, it's basically just bugged, and the developers haven't fixed it. It's been two years since these posts, saying the exact same thing. Um, apparently, what happens is when you go out of visual range, basically when the deer despawns, or the the bear. Um, it kind of resets and it goes back to its default behavior instead of its wounded behavior. It stops bleeding. It stops appearing to bleed. Um, but there's still a timer on it and it'll eventually just drop dead. So if we had waited, it would have just dropped dead in its place. But. Uh, See, like I said, I can't, can't pick up sticks. Obviously, that doesn't make much sense. I mean, if it's bleeding, it should be bleeding. It's kind of... Kind of a sad thing. The developers, uh, particularly the head guy, he seems to kind of control stuff. Um, he seems more interested in his vision of the story than uh, in the sandbox. Which is a real shame. So you can kill these bunnies with arrows, but it's kind of a waste because the arrow takes damage. Um, much better to use stones freely available. You know, I, I don't know how meat smell works, but I'm hoping it works based on total amount of pounds as opposed to just like pieces, because I think that wouldn't make much sense. So I try to eat it. We should have carried um, some non-perishable with this book. Kinda, I'm thinking we can find some more cattails. Maybe we'll go stay at that cabin like we did last time. When we found our first uh, maple branch. The last time we were here there was a wolf. I think the cabin is for this way. But I don't know where. Could be up there. Could be that way. I think it's further from the road. But I, like I said, I don't really know this map too well. Um, so there are trees. But it looks like I'd break my legs. I have to say, I'm already forgotten or lost track of the direction we're going. But I think we're on top of the river. Ish. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned. I'll always follow the river back. in that house. But I remember that turned over tree. I 
feel like it's up there, but I'm not sure. Maybe this is where the wolf was moving around. I bet if we, uh, if the weather was better, we would have seen that cabin. But who knows what we'll find. I feel like I hear something walking. Crunching. Well, I don't see it, but I did hear something. something. Pick this up, that's weird. No, I don't see anything, thankfully. Um, honestly, we haven't really fared too well with the wolves. this bow. And only slightly better with the gun. Um, I think I think I can I'm partially aware of the problem is they they tend to that's not the fear. Right? Uh, they tend to kind of juke to the left. Oh, it's clearing up, isn't it? They, they juke to my left. And I wait for them to straighten out, and they never straighten out. Cold. That's a weird thing to find right here. Got some more of it. So, I mean, there's a mine nearby. Maybe the cabin's on this cliff. Yep. 
Twitter. Nice. That was a brazen rabbit. Um, pretty sure we slept here. Or we uh, we visited this when we got the maple branch. Yeah, that looks like us, huh? I like these cabins with the lockers. Nice little place to set up. Um, So we're tired enough that our total weight is starting to go down. So we need to be aware of that. Might like a really prudent thing to do would just be stay here for the night. I'm not feeling particularly pretty today. Oh. So let's keep following the river. Well, we've been pretty lucky that we haven't seen any bears. I mean, wolves. It's only a matter of time, I suppose. And they'll be pretty aware of us because of this meat. This is what kills you in the long run, is confidence. You think, oh, we have all this great armor, clothes. This fantastic weapon you know, cobbled together bow and arrow. Like in real life, what the hell? In real life, you'd be terrified. But now we're like, no, nah, we're fine. It's weird that you can't pick certain things up. Seems like no matter what angle. I'm not sure if we explored this far up. I think we did. But this is close to where we came into the map. We crossed this bridge not long after. Oh, come on. What happens if I click it? Like, what bullshit is that? No. Not sure if we drop down. There's a there's a body. It's a person. So many cattails. I can't imagine we did move because I love these things more than life itself. I guess not. More than life itself. But they're so life sustaining.
go through. Now we don't need these. Just wait. Bad find. It's so nice. It's it's hard to believe it's dust. All right. So here's the idea. And that kind of the point of this little excursion is I'm just going to go this way a little bit and then go back towards the ocean. Oh, shit. So it's another bow. Oh, it's actually pretty good thought for the long term. So if we don't get sidetracked, we can probably make it back down before nighttime. thinking maybe we'll find stuff like the like the branch. But that might be a wolf. Still might be, I'm not sure. Right. Just looks like a rock. Let's see this thing. Um but yeah, we might find little stuff, little fun things. I don't know. We're not too far. Off the beaten path. Should we check this out? Okay. up with these people out in the woods with dog food. I mean, I'm starting to think that's what got him killed. So I think we're really close to, uh, to the shore. I think this little cabin is this one we we were chasing the bear, we were looking for the bear. We found this little cabin, and I was like, I didn't even notice that was here. I kind of think that's this. So we're just basically up on a little ridge above the road. I think so. So that was a nice, safe little journey. Although, I harvested these. Maybe not if we were chasing a bear. Yep. We've been and we missed coffee. Wow. Uh, let's see if we missed anything else. Why would I use a knife to save two minutes? Of then it being the default option and it's inconvenient to switch. Oh, we don't have the hacksaw. I guess, I guess we haven't really been carrying it around, but 
It's a good amount of metal in this place. Yeah, we're overweight. But we're also really close to getting out. Um Honestly, I don't think we need a whole lot of metal for a while. The metal would be used to make more arrows and to repair the hacksaw. Um, I'm not sure what else we can repair with tools. All right, well, we, we kind of went there and back on this little chunk of the map. I think that's a good amount of stuff for, for one day. Um, <sighs> she's tired. Can I smash? Can I smash? Um, welcome. Uh, it's basically Stalker. We customized it a little bit. We took away some of the annoying stuff, uh, like um, Cabin Fever. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, all the wolf settings are Stalker. Looks like we've completely looted this. There's maybe a couple things to break down, but... Um, how are you today? Can I smash? Boy, the weather... As soon as we got back to safety, the weather really picked up. Cabin fever is the most bullshit mechanic you blame it for taking out. Yeah, well, that's that's what I think, too. Um, a lot of them, there's a lot of little things that are kind of annoying. Uh, I'm just excited they gave us the custom mode so that we can uh, change those things. Um, what was the other thing? I think we did a couple things. I can't remember what the, the other big one was. I took out parasites, actually, which is a little bit cheaty, but... Uh, I don't really care. Sure is Wednesday. Sure, sure is Wednesday. Um, so, last, uh, last time I streamed, we managed to kill a bear. And today, we're kind of sitting pretty. With a lot of food. A lot of supplies and uh, just kind of exploring a little bit. Within the next day or two, I'll probably take off and explore another map. Um, probably not tomorrow, but probably maybe the next day. Because there's not a whole lot we want to do on this map, I think anymore other than just survive so we'll probably carry it carry stuff back to this map <clears throat> I wanted to read some of that book maybe Maybe I'll do a little sleep and then hop outside. Okay. Hi, Sean. How are you? Welcome back. How you been? 
I'm gonna need to rest soon. I want to set up base in the garage. Yeah, so we've we've visited the garage uh, twice now. Um, I, I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna live there. Our main house is up on Jack Rabbit Island, um, and this is just like a a little supply place. Um, yeah, on so this I've never really played on Stalker before, and. I kind of can't believe how ridiculous the wolves are. They'll come at you from across the map, just running. And it's like, what did I do? What did I do to you? Why are you so mad? I, I, what did I do to deserve this? Um, so, I, yeah, I'm kind of scared of the wolves. Things are a lot better now that we've got a gun and arrows and pretty good clothes, but uh, I still don't like the wolves. Um, um, I'm good, John. I'm good. Things are things are going quite well. Well, I don't usually. It's only since we carried this bear, I got a little uh, killed this bear. I got a little more uh, bold. But usually we don't. Usually we leave all the meat at home and we carry cans. Um, they, they're just super aggressive. I don't know. I, I think the next time I play, when we die, um, I'm gonna turn the environment up a lot harder and turn the wolves down. Because I like the idea of the, the blizzards killing me instead of the wolves. Have dog food. Their dogs. It's in a can. <laughs> Surely. Surely they can't smell it in a can. Um, speaking of which, we want to drop that off. Let's see. Um, I'll, I'll carry this for now. We'll cook these. Ho, 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 ho. Put our feathers away. And then we got all these sticks. So let's see. I have this thing about sticks. It's really hard not to pick up a stick. That's what interloper is. Yeah, we'll probably do it custom. I don't know. Um, I what I've heard of interloper is that like guns don't spawn, which I kind of like, and um, like really good gear doesn't spawn. We haven't found some of the good gear, but we have found others, like these boots are pretty great. Um, and these socks are really good. We've, we've got some good stuff, don't get me wrong. But uh, like the Expedition Parker doesn't spawn. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky this one. Um, but we've also been pretty unlucky. So the, the really funny thing is that when we started the game, we spawn in front of a bear and a wolf, um, like out of range of them, so we managed to escape. And then, like 15 minutes later, we got attacked by a wolf. We hadn't even looted anything. Um, we've been attacked by so many wolves. I, I tried to go to the. So, from the trap, not the trapper's cabin, but the, the lodge on the lake. We tried to go to the uh, the lookout tower and we were attacked by three wolves on the way. It's, it's just been ridiculous. The blizzard challenge. I haven't really done any challenges. Maybe we'll try that next. I don't know. I like I like I said, I like the idea of doing it where the the winter is what kills you, but um All right, so I was going to try to read a bit, see if we can get an hour in before we have to go to bed. Perfect. And we're just about dog tired, so. So I actually haven't heard of the blizzard challenge. I know of the bear challenge. The 
That actually might be it. I think there's one about stockpiling food. But otherwise, I'm not, I haven't really checked out the challenges. Um, hopeless rescue. I, that's one where you have to cross all the maps, right? But isn't you have to like get the pistol and then go to the mountain or something? That one is interesting. Yeah, I like the idea of being on the move. I don't know the maps very well. Um, You have a list in 30 days to stock stockpiles. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, that does sound pretty interesting. Boy, this doesn't really give us a whole lot of points. Where we already know so much about cooking. I mean, um, yeah. So there's a lot of the maps that I haven't even been to. So pretty. Um, in in this playthrough, we started in the Mystery Lake, and we came here, and then we um, we went to the the coast with the lighthouse because we had to make arrows, and. Uh, we had a really fun, I, I had a really fun time there. Hopefully other people did. And we came back with about 40 arrows, so we're good for, we're good for a while. Um, but other maps, I haven't really, I don't know much about other maps. These are the three maps that I really know about, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go on a little journey here in a couple days. All right, so I'm thinking today um, we'll make a fire, we'll make a bunch of water, cook these ingredients. Weather kind of is blah again. And then uh, we'll think about getting ready for a trip. So. I think there's a there's a connection on this map, and I think there's two connections back in Mystery Lake. Um, let's, let's pick these back up. Whoa. Mountain Town. Oh yeah, actually I know Mountain Town. I've been to Mountain Town. Um, off off stream. That's that's got so much cool stuff in it, but a lot of wolves. Yeah, I think we'll probably stay away from there. I think so. Isn't the connection to the farm in this from this map? Uh, let's see if there was maybe a branch or not, but I don't see. Any. I mean, like a big one. Oh, it's beautiful blue sky. My goodness. Um, Pleasant Valley, yeah. That's what I meant. It's got like a barn. Uh, something like that. I thought the connection was here. Uh, <laughs> I could be wrong. Okay, all right. 
don't tell me too much. So I, I kind of want to play, you know, without major spoilers. Um, but that's that's good. So we'll we'll probably go there next. Um, all right, let's make some water. Oh, we're down to 40 minutes already. It's a real shame we didn't find any branches nearby, but there's plenty of plenty of wood. And sticks in here. You know, I think it should let you break down the beds. And, you know, you do so at your own peril for wood and cloth. Let's get, let's get a bit of cloth. Um, the second streamer you've seen using Imperial Centimetric, your American Metric Prediction is very much great for it. Yeah, I noticed that they don't, that it's like, you know, 2.66 pounds or something because it converts to something really nice in metric or whatever, but whatever. I don't care. I mean, it doesn't make sense anyway, right? Like, a book of matches is not a fifth of a kilogram. Or a bear skin is not two pounds, I don't know, four pounds. So, I, I, they're just numbers to me. Um, the, uh, yeah, I don't know. The water, I feel like the weight I kind of understand, but the water gallons, like I know what a gallon of water is. I guess I know what a liter is too, but I just don't know how much, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. The temperature would be the only one I think I couldn't uh, couldn't deal with. Not a big fan of uh, Celsius. Uh, just because it's... I'm, I don't know it. Yeah, two, exactly. Whenever I think of liters, I think of two liter bottles or so. Um, or a liter of, actually, I think it's like 800 milliliters of wine and stuff. Um, let's make a bit more water. So we cooked all that stuff up that raised our cooking skill. Uh, shoot. Oh, come on. So maybe we'll get it. Oh god. I shouldn't have dilly dallied. Alright, looks like it's about 7, 6, 6 p.m. Oh shit, one minute left. That was perfect. Um, we must be in summer because it still looks pretty light out. Alright, what's our, what's our take here? Two gallons of water, very nice. That's good for now. We'll put... Uh, some stuff away. What do I want to put away? I wanted to put away the coffee. And... I'm gonna, we're going to start gearing up for the trip. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Summer, yeah. I I, I kind of wish there were seasons or something. I don't know. Something that changed in the game. Um, Let me see, Sean. We're getting on up there, honestly. 
This is day 63. Um, most of these days we haven't really done anything, right? But we took this trip to uh, Desolation Point last stream, or two streams ago? Two streams ago. Um, and we got attacked a bunch. All right. So. We're going to take a trip. I'm not going to carry the gun um, to keep the weight down. I'm going to carry the bow and arrows. Maybe we'll take a couple of extra arrows. Where is it? Oh, there it is. question is, what about clothes? I think I'm going to switch out. I, oh, it's, it's tough. It's tough because the clothes that we have are quite heavy. Like super duper heavy. And I might switch out some things. So let's, is there anything we want to take back up the hill? Let's go ahead and grab four. So it's almost ten. I think that's. Hopefully, we won't lose that many arrows, right? Maybe. I'm just thinking, what if we're in a situation where we need to hunt to, to survive? But that's probably not going to happen. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's that's fine. That's fine. And then um, I think all that could stay. Yeah, planning planning is uh, I find it kind of fun, but um, I've also had somebody tell me that this is a really like <laughs> they. This, it sounds pretty bad, I think, but. They said, this is a really boring game to stream. Why do you stream this game? And, you know, I understand it's not for everybody. I spend a lot of time looking at the inventory screen. But those moments when you set up to do something and then you make a plan and you execute it, I, I just find it so... Maybe not accomplished is the right word, but so enjoyable. It's just so nice to have it carry a plan through. Um, I should have grabbed a bit more meat. Oh well. Well, we've been really lucky today with wolves. We haven't seen a single wolf. Jesus, that's a strong wind. Hey, Joey! Welcome back, man. What's going on? Are you finally finished with everything? AP tests and semester and everything? Oh my god, you can really feel her, like, walking into the wind. It's, uh... She's trudging. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kenneth Smash, I've had uh, some really fun times when things didn't go according to plan. And you just kind of have to go, well, let's see if this works. I'll inject a stem and make make a run for it or, you know, stuff like that. 
game is not for everybody. Needs a little danger from the Byron creatures to keep it scouting. I really think it's boring. I think it can be boring. Like, it's boring for 30 minutes, and then it's exciting for 30 minutes. Like, that's kind of how I feel. Um, nights are super boring. Dark cabins, like trying to walk around a cabin when it, you don't have any light. That's boring. Hey, look what we got. Where is it? Oh, the wind is ridiculous. Jesus. Nope, oh, that's not the door. All right, home again, home again. Uh, Joey doing good, had work, graduation prom, so much stuff going on. Well, exciting time, huh? May you live in exciting times, they said. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <sighs> a lot of questions here. Should we bring a bedroll? That's a big one. Um, should we bring a lantern? That's a big one. If we go through a mine, it might be a good idea to bring a lantern just to leave in the mine. That's like a, that's a thing. We don't have to, you know. We could uh, light a torch or a flare. Yep, may live in interesting times. Forty-two hours in your first week of summer, which is fun. It's a uh, it's more money, right? That's a good thing. Um, all right, what are we doing? Fuck. Um, what did I just loot? This thing. I want to see how much. It's pretty much full. This is perfect. So we'll leave this in the mine. What else do we want to bring? I don't think I'm going to bring a hacksaw. I don't think I'm going to bring a crowbar because we'll probably find one along the way. Um, we have our emergency accelerant. I don't think we need any more. 20 matches is enough. We'll find more. Uh, leave the magnifying glass. Oh, there's two books in sewing we haven't read. Maybe we should spend another day reading books. Is there strategy to not harvesting a rabbit right away? Well, it's frozen, so I was just going to let it thaw. Because um, it'll take less time once it's thawed. But... Yeah, I mean, if you're outside and you have nowhere to go to safety, you might as well just carry it with you instead of trying to do it in the freezing cold. Um, but I, I think it's heavier. Like, you, you lose some weight when you harvest it, so it's better to harvest. Yeah, you can just use your hands once it's unfrozen. Um... All right, how's our bow doing? 72%? That seems... I don't know. Whatever. We'll swap it. Okay, we've got seven, eight arrows. I think that's... Honestly, it's more than enough, but I'm, I'll leave it. Let's... Let's keep the fishing tackle. And this hatchet and knife have done as well. I'm going to definitely carry those. I'm going to get an extra flare... Uh, okay. That looks good. We, we really need to cook these. Jesus Christ. Maybe we should spend a day, like I said. We'll spend a day reading, cooking. Um, crafting. Because we're in no rush. You know, we might as well, since we can afford it, we might as well be kind of chill. 
Um, and what about the bed? I'm, I'm thinking carry it. Because I feel like most of the times I've died in this game, it's from lack of a bed. Like a blizzard hits, and I don't know, there's nowhere to go. I don't know where I am. Um, all right, I think this is unfrozen. Uh, but let's do it outside so that we don't, it doesn't get too dark. Goodness gracious. Oh, it's a nice sunset. Actually, it's going to freeze out it's here. Dusk, night can't be far behind. Really fine. Uh, you fill the lantern and leave one of the flares. The the lantern's almost full, I think. God damn it. I thought it was. See, it's almost full. Um, the the bar is uh, almost at the top. I assume that's almost full. So we could cook these. We could wait till the morning. Let's see if we have any meat in the fridge. Yeah, yeah, different units. Um, it doesn't seem like a whole lot of fuel to me, but I guess it doesn't take a whole lot of fuel to make a light. So uh, we should have brought should have brought meat up with us, like cooked meat. I'm tempted to make a fire now. All right, here's what we do. Um, I'm going to sleep for a little bit, and then we'll head out and make a quick fire. So there's one sort of rule that I'm imposed I've imposed on myself. It's not really a hard and fast rule, but I don't want to play the the goofy game where you let your stats run out and then take health damage and then wait and wait and wait and wait and then eat and rest. I, I just I think that's a goofy thing. Uh, it still works. It still works pretty well, but I, I'm trying not to do it. So. All right, there's meat outside. Let's get some wood. AKA sticks. Uh, we'll get some, well, the fur, the cedar, the more cedar. This pack is getting kind of heavy. See if we can make these inside. It might be too dark. I wish there was a car up here on this island. Um, drop that. Drop that. No, oh, it's light enough. Wonderful. Yeah, welcome to the club. All right, except for the rose hips. Let's um, why 
Why? I can't figure out what buttons to click today. All right. We'll, um, we'll leave a ah, cattail stock just to sort of stave off hunger. Let's craft these up. This guy here is that eerie shade of green because of the storm. This makes the thing the power is going to go out. Um, the sky where you are in real life is green. Dude, you need to be careful. You could be in a video game. All right. Let's see how much of this we can um we can do. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, starving. Have I ever seen a green sky storm? No, have not. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was made up. I mean, the sky is green, right? Like, skies aren't green. Why didn't that work? Come on, little fire. Why didn't that work? Skies are blue. The color of skies is blue. Or gray, which is basically blue that's been desaturated. But green? No. Yellow, green during bad storms. I've never seen it. Uh, yeah, maybe a Midwest thing. I grew up on the East Coast. Um, we had a lot of hurricanes, but... <sighs> So let's cook the rabbit first. We'll make maybe one or two bear steaks. Honestly, I don't remember too many Midwest storms, but I, I lived out in the Midwest for a while as an adult. But um, I don't really remember it storming very much. I wonder if I can Some snowstorms for sure. But I feel like when it's snowstorm, it's the sky is white because it's snowing, right? Like you can't see the sky. I don't. Know. It was storming today, really. Is the sky? Have you seen the sky get gray, Joey? I mean green. Eat these rabbit steaks. Look at these rabbit steaks compared to the wolf steaks. Oh, I already messed it up. I mean, compared to the bear. It only gives you 550 calories for 2.2 2 pounds, and the bear gives you 1,000 calories. Shit, what the fuck happened? Whoa! I just learned something amazing. If you press tab while you're eating, it goes out of... I can't do it here. I could do it while I was eating. If I press tab, it kind of like got rid of the blurry, uh, the blurry effect. That's weird. This guy doesn't get green storms. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I feel like uh, Can I Smash could possibly live on, uh, like, one of the moons of Saturn or something. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Okay, let's... Drink our fill. We need to we need to 
ditch some clothes or something. We're way too heavy. I mean, even though I have all this junk on me. Uh, we're way too heavy still. You have a link for me? Okay. I'll, I'll check it out. Um, I know they say, what are they, it's like red sky at night, sailor's delight or something. Uh, green sky in the morning better be warning. Something. Tornadoes. Yeah. I've been lucky enough to stay out of the path of tornadoes my life. Um, although when I was in Illinois, one hit in, like, the capital. I'm pretty close to it. Um, I'll check out the link in just a second. Once I'm back inside. Donning. All right, we cooked all that crap up. Capital of Illinois. That's going to be it for our cooking today. Um, we have enough food to last us a bit. Uh, well, Chicago's, Chicago's not the capital of Illinois. Um, all right. Let me check out the uh, the link. Uh, okay. Man, that's crazy. I would still say it's green. I mean, I would still say it's gray, but I see what you're saying. Oh, do, oh, I see. Oh, okay, you're in Chicago. Um, that's really weird. Yeah, y'all live in a very strange place if the sky turns green. Obviously, uh, the sky's not meant to be green. Okay. All right, we're super tired, but, um, oh, okay, we're out of food. <laughs> we ate all that. She just ate 2,000 calories of bear, and she's hungry again. Plus 1,000 calories of rat. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. This must be metric calories. Got a lot of water. Um, has something to do with how thick the storm clouds is. Yeah, I know that the sky being blue has something to do with refraction of light, I guess, through air. You starve her until she's going to sleep. Yeah, I just feel like that's cheesy. Like, they should have disabled that. They should have fixed that, patched that out. Um, it shouldn't be as effective as it is. All right, let's put this jump away. Now, which one of these is pain and which one of these is uh, painkiller? 
antibiotic. Okay, so we'll but the rose hip seems a lot more useful. Because we always carry stuff for antibiotics, but you never know. Um okay, so we'll carry one of those. We're probably fine with painkillers, but we can drink it if we need liquid. It's, it's not such a bad thing to have. Um, it also has, I think, about 100 calories. Is this where we put? I think so. All right. So like I said, today... Um, we're going to kind of do stuff around the house. And then we'll probably head out in the early morning to the fishing cabins. Got me some ice cream. Very nice. Um, I just had some butter pecan ice cream myself. Uh, very good. So let's... Now, I don't think we need to craft these, because I don't think it really gives us any um, skill. So, okay, let's save them till we need them. But we can read and see if we can get these skills up. like these are the last three books we have. Let's, uh, we might as well read inside. It's daytime. I need to find a place to rest. Uh, they're lighter than antiseptic? They are, but they're, antiseptic you can use more than once. So I don't know how it works out, but I think they, I feel like they both have advantages because, um, I, th I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought the antiseptic was like better weight by use. Like you only need um, a fraction of it when you use it, but I could be wrong. Like I think there's three uses in here. Actually, that still doesn't work out. Yeah, you're right. Okay, fair enough. Put that in. I hope we don't need five. Oh, we'll stick with four. All right. Um, all right, so we read the book, yeah? All right, we read this book. Let's uh, drop it in with our library here. Let's read this book. Oh, this will level us up. Oh, we're going to be too high. I lay down right here. Ah, oh, we're going to be too tired. If I thought I'd ever wake up again. Subnautica has been a journey. Has it, uh, has it been going, Joey? Really? Oh man, I've heard about all these mods that I really want to try. It's like horror when you first play because you don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty horror. Terror. The developers call it terror. Uh... Ooh, it's actually dark. Okay, so um, okay, so it's more it's more weight effective. I I beat it, but I beat it before launch, so I don't know if they've changed stuff. I haven't beaten it since the since the game was released. 
Um, what am I trying to do? All right, let's. Actually, I kind of want to read this, so I'm just gonna do it. We'll we'll figure something out. What? I thought it would level me up. Getting tired. Uh, okay, so this gets dropped. We'll carry this guy with us. Um, it's got the scanner room and the quality of life. It's just it's getting fun of resources. I, so I never built one. And I just thought you had to go around and looking. I guess I didn't realize what it was for. Or I tried to build it and I thought it was for monsters. I don't know. I got confused. Um, hopefully we'll remember to get rid of that, but I'm just going to a little pork and beans before dinner. I mean, before sleep. Just get a jump in the pitch black depths. Yeah, you have to. You have to go pretty far down. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's. Yeah, my friend was saying that she was scared of deep water, and I was kind of making fun of her. And then I started playing this game, and I really I understood it. I was like, I see where you're coming from. Huh. Well, interesting. If I try it again, I'll build a uh, scanner room. All right. So I'm going to finish, I can't tell if this is just normal green or if it's Aurora green, but nothing's buzzing in the house, so I think it's just normal green. Let's finish getting stuff and we'll sleep a little bit more at the fishing cabins. We'll head down there to the fishing cabins. So let's put... Honestly, there's what I'm thinking. Carry a couple of canned foods, cattail stalks. It's probably way too much food, but you never know. And All right, the last thing is let's get our clothing situation straight, straightened out. So I think I'm going to switch out the boots. So that's like two pounds, maybe three pounds if we wear the running shoes for free. The mittens. I mean, these are nice mittens, but Okay. 
And then we'll keep the keep the wolf skin thing, keep the deer skin pants. So we're pretty warm, 43 degrees bonus. But it's a lot less heavy. Uh, I'm putting on worse gear because it's less weight. Uh, oh, the cameras aren't automated. You have to manually control them. So then, isn't that the same as you going and looking for for rocks? How is that different? <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, um, I think other than that, we're good. I'm a little bit hesitant about the shoes, but actually, I, I hesitated enough that I'm, I'm keeping the good shoes. These are really warm. All right, so we're at 52, which is super heavy, super duper heavy. We've got five pounds of sticks, though. Um, we're going to leave the lantern, the can opener. Um, let's leave. Let's leave these shitty arrows. Okay. So we're we're almost definitely not going to go on like some crazy trip um, where we don't stop. We're going to stop on our map because uh, it's kind of late. Um, when I realized you can just build, and I know this is kind of stupid, it's kind of obvious, but you can build a base anywhere. I feel like that changed things for me. Because I, I built a starter base right where you start, you know? And then I was like, man, this is so far from all these places I need to go. That looks like a wolf. Um, Let's try going around him. Look, we look at this. We never even found this. Like I said, we're not going to probably go to that map today, but what we're going to do is we're going to get our ducks in a row at the at the fishing huts, and then we're going to head up maybe to the cabin in the mountains. Good, nice visibility. Uh, but that'll give us more opportunity once we're in the next map to figure out where we're going, because I have no idea where to go. Um, and I'd I really would appreciate it if you guys would not tell me, even if I'm dying. All right, we're more than far enough away from the wolf. 
500 meters from the start. Figured out how to get the habitat purely by lining up the ship and escape pod and knowing distance. Ah, yeah, it is interesting navigating in that game by. I always look at the ship too. And I just, I think of the ship as being northeast for, for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Just because when you open your door, it's to the front right, I guess. I don't know. Have you, how far have you gotten, Joey? All right. So we saw a wolf, we escaped the wolf. like 10 hours in the game. Yeah. Yeah, you can make all sorts of cool little stuff. I really, 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 really wish it was a compass in this game. And it would work with your map, and it would, like, you could figure out how to navigate. All right. So. I can't help myself. I'm going to get a seventh arrow. Lucky seven. Let's bring this energy bar. Let's bring the second coffee. Everyone wants a compass. I mean, I'm sure there's a mod by now. I just wish the developers were cooler than they are. Ugh. All right. Stick always falls in the same direction. Jesus Christ, that's like... That's really helpful. That's really helpful. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use that. That's too helpful. Um, yeah. That's, that's crazy. All right. So, let's fill up on bear meat. Honestly, I God, I wish we could take this with us. Can we take maybe a little bit? Maybe the wolves won't notice. If there's a blizzard, and I don't know where I am, I'm not going to drop a stick. That That's cheating. I have I have my limits. Look at all this beautiful meat. I want to take all this meat with me. <sighs> but we can't. It's a bad idea. It's just it's just a bad idea. All right. I'm I feel like I'm getting close to our our weight. Um, or at least kind of what makes sense to bring. We're, we're super heavy, though. I don't think it matters if it's cooked. If it's uncooked, I think it matters. If it's cooked, it doesn't matter. Or something close to that. Um, Oh, we actually have two magnifying glasses. Um, let's leave one here. It's not a lot of weight, but just might as well. So it comes down to like the sleeping bag and our clothes at this point. This this stays. We can drop this. Um, this is going to be red at some point, so uh, I'm hesitantly saying I'm ready. Uh, 
Okay. So my plan now, and I always, I always um, take extra water. We'll leave some water at the little cabin in the mountains. Um, now, since I don't know where the exit is, my idea is to go up to that cabin and to follow the wall. Um, once we get up there. There's still some um, meat, there's still some uncooked meat outside. But, yeah, I th it's actually kind of complicated. I think certain items, it matters whether they're in containers. Um, but other items, it matters whether they're inside or not. There's no real way of knowing. other than the wiki. Um, so I assume you're going to keep playing, Joey? You're going to keep playing um, Subnautica? I... It gets so scary. That's the thing. That's the problem. It's so nice and fun at the beginning, and then you encounter your first big sea monster, and it's like, uh, do I want to keep playing? All right. We've done this twice now. So maybe I can kind of remember. I think we get to the campgrounds, and then... You go a little further and you get to the bridge, and it's like to the left of the bridge. Okay. Maybe if we're lucky, oh. So we're not going to attack the deer, but it's uh, a good thing to see a deer. Uh, I think so. You see the red, the red one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the birds is definitely alone. The birds, oh man, I a couple of times I've been had the experience playing this game where I thought it was a bird outside of my window. Uh, yeah, Joey, yeah. I think those are the worst. There's the cabin. All right, so um, it's actually a lot earlier in the day than I thought, but we're pretty tired. Rupert Leviathan is the reason you don't play Sonica. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's He's scary. It's true. It's true. Um, so now the question is, should we stay here? Or should we press on? And the danger is we don't find the mine, and so we don't find like, a nice place to sleep. Um, But it's, it's only the middle of the day, but 
On the other hand, we only have half half rest too, so I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna press on. You like the teleporting ones? The crabs or the I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. Um, I feel a little bit emboldened, mostly because we have a sleeping bag. The weather on this map is usually not bad. So... Oh, uh, the teleporting squids. Yeah. Well, the squid, squid crabs, right? They're like part crab, part squid. All, all monster. I think they're fun and kind of shy. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure I share that uh, opinion. Honestly. I, I'm scared of everything in that game because I, I, it all does such weird stuff. It really feels alien. And it's like, what is this? I don't know what this is. How is this going to hurt? Is kind of the question. It's big as the tentacles. I, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um... So I think we want to get up there. I'm not exactly sure. And remember, don't tell me how. Exploding tiny fish. Oh, the exploding fish? Yeah, they suck. I've lost um, some really nice ships to those things. Um, for me, I, I don't know, once I realized you can build ships, I thought it was much cooler, also. Like, um, I, I think I, when I first played the game, either they didn't have all that stuff in the game yet, or it wasn't clear how to collect the schematics. Uh... I think we made it up. Alright, now this is... I'm pretty sure this is where we came from in Mystery Lake. So... My strat here is just to follow the wall on the left and look for another cave. Kinda... So I cheated and looked for teleporter on mistake for trying to figure out what the Rift of Python was. They're passive if you're uninfected. Aggro if you're infected. Ah, that explains it. That explains it. So I guess can I, can I smash had, hadn't gone too far in the story. I feel like Endermen when, also Endermen are really aggressive if you look at them. They'll freak out and attack you. We came here when we started this map, didn't we? And then we couldn't find a way through. Well, let's look again. We've got a nice little place to spend the night if we uh, have to. Train unloading. I wonder if we left ourselves. in the presence. Of a large collection of Endermen. That's what you still think they're cute. I used to think Endermen were cool. And then. Um, uh, they convinced me otherwise. Oh. 
has a shirt. Holy shit, we've been here and we just left a bunch of stuff sitting around. I guess we were full. Or I guess we had good gear. The, the plaid shirt wasn't very impressive. Um, we're pretty tired. I think we should stay here for the night and um, and start fully rested in the morning. And what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and start reading this book. And this should this should put me over to the next level. Just want to take your dirt. I just want to take your dirt. All right. Mending. Level three. What does that give us? <sighs> I think I need to lay down. Um, seven five percent sex. Hair time decreased by fifty percent. Ten percent item condition increase. Okay. Take your dirt back to their families to grow things in the disintegrating, floating underworld. Uh, <laughs> I've actually never been to the underworld. Um, I kind of, I mostly stopped playing Minecraft by the time all that stuff was added. Uh, I actually, I stopped right when the Nether was introduced, and up until recently, had never been to the Nether. Should have eaten this first. Um, good God, it's dark. Jesus Christ. I don't find this very fun, also, by the way, and I feel like it really makes the game worse for streaming. Because you're really you're really encouraged not to light anything because all of your resources are limited. But it's a black screen. It's not very entertaining. Um, well, we actually read our book far quicker than I expected. We kind of don't have anything to do unless we strip down cloth and then try to repair some stuff. Um, I, I, it's pit completely black. Um, on your TV, you can see the outlines of everything around me. I can't see shit, man. I mean, part of it is that my room is, like, well lit. And so there's a lot of glare. Does this actually use up fuel? 2, 0.24. Alright, there's sure. Are there mittens? Yeah. Alright. Let's see if it's too dark to tear apart this stuff. I think uh, things using your hands you can do in the dark, but using tools you can't. So we won't be able to repair. Um, but if I can get my way outside... I don't even know what that was. I mean, in real life, I would agree with you, but in this game, I'm, I'm not so sure. This, you know, can't... Oh, it's actually cold out here. Uh, not in the sh not in the, uh, against the wind, out of the wind. 
All right, so is there anything, I mean, because we kind of don't have anything to do, and we're going to be completely rested before dawn, so I'm just thinking, why not repair some clothes? Um, uh, we just leveled up, you know, so... Um, I think it's, it, the way that it works kind of smashes uh, based on tools. So if you're tearing apart a crate with your hands, I think you can do it. But if something requires a tool, you can't do it. I think. Um, Paired those two things. Let's wait. I've lost the cabin, the trailer. There it is. It's all just conjecture. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like when games tell you things. And the game is still interesting, you know? Like, I don't, I don't like that to play this game well, you have to open the wiki. That's, I guess that's concisely my perspective. I don't like that opening the wiki gives you such a huge advantage. Um, but it's how it is. So, sleep time. Um, here's, here's a case in point. Really, really big point. Is that if, if you look at the, the, the information about the different weapons, the blunt weapons are supposed to scare off the wolves. Like, you don't kill them, they don't bleed out, but you scare them off faster. But somebody did experiments... And that's not the case. Um, the hatchet works the best, no matter what. The hatchet scares off enemies quicker, and they bleed out. So we started carrying around a hatchet. Oxygen not included. In game, has an in-game wiki. Yeah, it's true. But oxygen not included also is like, you need to know the numbers. So I... I it's a bit different. I don't know, like, you know, iron has a certain... Oh, I've forgotten the numbers. Um, heat, heat, whatever, heating potential. I've forgotten the numbers. What is the name of all that stuff? Specific heat. Um, and you, I don't know, it's it's a little bit different, but I see I see what you're saying. Didn't know how to make water. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a game, I guess. It's it's, it's actually pretty good. I think the thing the thing about this game is that I feel like it's good, despite the developers. That's the problem, and they have only stood in the way of this being a good game. Maybe that's a little jaded, but. I think, think it started really well, and it just, I don't know. All right, well, forget all that, because we're about to head out, um, unless the weather's terrible. We're essentially out of food. We have 11 of these rascals, which is about uh, a, a snack for this young lady. I don't really like this weather. It's cold and I can't see. Um, I'm gonna take another hour's nap. They don't. They don't listen to the gamers. The the lead developer has stated that he will never go back to Reddit. Um, 
because he doesn't like what people say there. <clears throat> well, I don't why, but like, why not? The thing is, is I don't care at all about story mode. And if they want to make story mode more, less linear and more open world, that's just the sandbox. That's to me. That's like saying, "Well, the sandbox is way more fun, but we still like the story mode." I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to dwell on it either. Um. We don't have any food, and I should probably turn back. But food is one of those things when you go to a new place that you can often find a lot of, so I'm hoping we can just get there. The question is, where the hell are we going? You know? um, we could always kill something if we need food, but not in this weather. I don't think we could chase a deer down. Um, but if worse comes to worse, we're honestly not really very far from anything. So I can just head to the shore and we can hop back to our base. Uh, I were a mine. So I'm tempted to go down here. But I don't know. I'm really tempted. Like, shouldn't I follow the the wall. This looks like it's something. It's clear enough. It's good. It's good news. It's sound. What does a mind make? Probably the same sound a mime makes. Honestly, I think we came here when we started. Uh, I shouldn't be picking up stuff like this, but I think we came here when we came to this map. So this is a bug. You can't pick stuff up sometimes. You have to put the bow away, but not always. Well, don't tell me. I hope you're kidding. Don't don't tell me stuff. The whole point is to see the story unfold. Hey, we haven't been here. Nobody needs this anymore. Um, that's pretty heavy, Jesus. I'm glad I decided to come in here. I really thought we'd been here before. Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I did not. I did not see it. If there was a cave, I did not see it. This stuff will come in handy. Um, let's check out this parka. Oh, it's actually way better. Significantly better than the park that we had. 
Um, but it's twice as heavy. Shoot. <sighs> well, I don't want to throw this away because this is like, um, would be part of our um, heavy gear. Uh, anything else in here? You're telling me that's a cave? I, see, that's the thing is I never would have seen it. And uh, that's you know, I mean, if I don't say something, don't, I think maybe just don't assume. This is not, this isn't a cave. Well, I still don't see it. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I still don't see it, but that's okay. It's probably for the best. <sighs> Question is, where do we go? I honestly, I should go back and drop off this parka. That's a that's an interesting rock formation. Hmm. funny. I mean, how, how does that happen? It was like translucent. Transparent. Completely. Like it wasn't a rock. Um, okay, so now I feel like we're all the way down just about at sea level. To the left is still the mountain, but I think we missed a path or something. So... I think we're headed over towards, like, the garage, the gas station. What a clear day, though. Yeah, I think we, we came this way when we started the map. Trying to find uh, our way to the ocean. Yeah, because there's we visited this place from below as well. Um, okay, so I'm, unless something bad happens, I'm going to keep pushing on. I'm thinking if we make it to the, 
to the cave to the if we can find the mine, we'll leave the parka there on our for, uh, to be retrieved on our way back. But we have to go up there, I suppose. Maybe it's not connected, I don't know. Tempted to see. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to. I thought this was a path. This is the fishing of the something huts. Hello. Huh. Um, okay, Joey. I'll be sure to point out the super cool stuff that happens. So what I want to do is just cook this real quick. Um, quick bite. It's only two pounds, but the log sort of, that's right. don't think any of these have um, stoves in them, but I'm not sure. Certainly the certainly that one doesn't. Let's let's see if this one I don't see a chimney. I don't know if that means anything. Um could leave the park in here. It's a shame you can't cook in the stove. That's a I feel like you should be able to make a fire in a stove, right? Now I'm just looking to see if there's anything we missed. You just got an item for the beacon. No longer have to use the ship to find your base. Yeah, beacons are pretty cool. Uh, but in my experience, they can also get moved. So I don't know. Maybe they maybe they fix that by release. But you'd put you'd put like a beacon down to be a safe point, and then you'd try to come back, and it wasn't there. Those work boots. Uh, so these new these work boots they are leather. Uh, they're actually uh, they're the same they're the same weight but you can tear them apart to get leather so we'll drop these wherever we drop the parka Okay, um... Come on, little fire. I think we have to go... up... 
Um, like, you remember we went to the tower? Uh, that was, we had this, like, crazy blizzard, and we just made it to the tower as we got to freeze. Um, I think we need to head that way. The weather holds out. It scared you? Did you think there was a? Did you think there was a fire in the uh, underwater? Oh, look, see, I can't interact with the fire now. Um, I heard something. Okay. I think it's a deer. This just sounds weird and confusing. Oh yeah, she's using a fire striker. Um. Yeah, I don't exactly. I don't know where I'm going, but I, st I still don't feel too bad. I still don't think we should just start over. Um. Although. We should have brought my food. But it's okay. Do I really have to go all the way to the garage? Um, yeah, at this point I'm just looking for any sort of ingress to the left. Egress? I don't know. Egress? Don't want her to break her delicate, fragile, uh, lace-like ankles. There's the tower. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can get there tonight. Um, if I remember right, we dropped the rope down. This looks good, right? Uh, we dropped a rope down so we can climb up from these little huts. She's going to break her ankle. I just know it. Stalker's chasing the camera. <laughs> um, That's it, right? That's the tower. How do I get over there? Stalkers are pretty interesting. I didn't, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in the game that... I, I kind of wished it was an ecosystem that things had to eat things and that kind of stuff to survive. But I guess it's too complicated for that kind of game. But I like realism. Alright, this looks promising. There's a building. Stalkers eat fish, fish, but they don't need to to survive.
Okay, that's the dead body, I think. Bunny rabbits. So... Maybe we take another quick look here, and then... Um, honestly, maybe even an hour to sleep, and then we'll head up the rope. Uh, because that should be the quickest way up. And we don't want to be tired, we'll fall down. That's a hole. That's a whole thing. They just like metal. Yeah. They're goofy with the metal. I don't... What? Like, why? Why do they like metal? And they're the only species who likes metal. Heavy metal. That. Alright. Um, let's... I think we can afford at least an hour. Um, let's check our weight to six pounds under. It's not a whole lot of wiggle room, but I think I think it, we can do this. We're carrying a lot of water, but instead, what I'll drop is. I'll drop the sticks. Okay, so it's right behind here. Yep, I see it. So this brings us right to the tower. If if we make it up. Um, we've got a heavy pack. But we're somewhat rested, so I think we can make it up. Um. Oh, but yeah, talk about making it harder. I wish that when you she ran, she got wet, but she warmed up. That would be interesting, I think. And I don't think that would make things easier. Wow, we almost exhausted ourselves. Oh shit, there's another rope. Oh dear. Huh. Well, it looks like we're going to have to take a little... Nappy nap. Three? I don't want to do it in the nighttime. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Does climbing in the nighttime matter? Just going up. Can't lose your way, right? It's like every time we come up here. Alright, here we go. You, they, you knife stalkers have to get close. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I tend to stay away from the kelp forest because of them. There's, everything's aggressive. Except the peepers. Gotta love the peepers. All right, well, uh, we're going to stay here for the night, Jesus Christ. Um, 
Where's the door? Whew. I doubt we left any food here. We have a little wood. We do have a stove. So... I mean, we could take more water, but we already have a lot. Otherwise, there's really nothing to cook. We should have brought more food. start um, but hopefully we make it to somewhere new so that we actually start finding some some food at this point I just want to get to light but I think yeah it's too uh, too tired I mean, we're not tired enough. Um, okay, well, we have this to tear apart. And these boots, this actually takes quite a while. Um, kind of hate tearing boots apart, but we need that leather. Ooh. Well, what do you know? Looks like I survived another night. I can sort of see, but take another. A little doze, see if maybe it gets a little nicer. Um, not really, but I can see. So onward we go. Um, now the goal here is the opposite of our original goal, so we're going to hug the right wall and try to find something that we haven't been to. So let's head out to the path. It's, it's warm, warm enough. She's uh, telling us she's hungry. So I'm thinking, hey, Lurker, saying you're not scared of wolves. Exactly. After we killed the bear, we have nothing to be afraid of. How's it going, Lurker? I feel like there's stuff up there. Uh, pretty good amount of ice. Actually, I wanted to play the game yesterday, but uh, it was just too hot. I feel like I can't play this game when it's so hot I'm sweating. Ooh. Time zone is doing great. I'm not sure what you mean by time zone. Go oh, shit.
So, um, I ducked because I thought I had the gun or I just wasn't really thinking. He didn't hurt us. I mean... Ooh, he hurt this, though. It's not a dog, it's a wolf. So he hurt um, our best piece of clothing. Oh, there he is. So I'm half half a mind to f chase him and finish him off or get his uh, meat. If he comes back, I think I'll try to kill him. But um, anyway, I ducked. And when you duck, she puts down the bow um, because you can't fire it until you're level five. You can't fire the bow when you're crouched. And that really mess me up. So I need to not do that next time. With this bow, I have to stand my ground. Uh, no, we only have the one bear skin. But uh, the goal the goal today is actually to make it to the next zone. And uh, I don't know where it is, so we're out looking for it. There's a wolf. So wolves, I think, have this like wounded animation. I, I don't know. Is it worth it to? Yeah, he's coming for us. Yeah, see, he's wounded. So what we could do is we could wait. That's probably the smart thing to do. And just let him bleed out. Um. I mean, we hatcheted at him, so it shouldn't take long, right? That arrow went down to 97. Just... Yes! Didn't have to wait long. I hope he's not pretending. Eight pounds. Um, we're just going to leave all that. Oh, we don't have, we don't really have any wood. Um, it's not a dog, it's a wolf. We need wood, and then I'm going to make a fire and cook all this meat, but um, I ain't got none. So, press on, carrying really smelly... This is it! This is the mine! This is the entrance to the next zone. Wolves are just mean dogs. Not in this game. Wolves are insane in the membrane. Um... Shit, I don't... There's no wood! Well, Cinder Hills Coal Mine. So through here, here's some wood. Uh, we get to the, I already forgot what it's called. I call it the farm, but it's a zone. All right, so first things first. Let's just take the alley. Can we make a fire? We can. Okay, then we cook up all this wolf meat. Um, so I think... Uh, We'll go through this mine. We'll try to find a safe place to rest, like a house or something. And then um, and then I'll call it quits for the night. So I don't know how long that'll take. We could we could die in the meanwhile. But that's the plan. So we'll find somewhere to rest and then I'll stop. 
Um, but eight pounds of meat should do us for a little while, for sure. Fire strike has been broken. Okay, 33. Alright. Um, usually I don't use the fire strikers because they improve your chance to make a fire, and so I want to save it for an emergency. But I realize that as you get better at making fires, that percentage goes up anyway, so. Might as well use it when it's difficult to make a fire. It's probably middle ground that's a better strat, but this works for me. Oh, well no, we're not gonna die. I don't mean from this wolf attack, but who knows what's gonna happen. Might walk off a cliff. So I I these first few areas I knew ish. You know, I've been to them, I've played to them. I really don't know, like, almost anything about this this next area. I know it's got a, a barn. <laughs> like, that's kind of it. I know it's got a farmstead. Uh, and I, I think my understanding is that the weather is worse there than in these other zones. The weather is bad. And and it, so it's kind of funny that they call it Pleasant Valley. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what's going on. Okay. That was perfect. That wolf, you know... He actually came in a really good time. We got a, a nice meal out of him. He banged us up a little bit. And if I had cloth, I'd probably repair my thing. But um, we don't have cloth. So next, next step, um, we're going to drop off stuff here that we want to take with us. So this is uh, four pounds, this is two pounds. We want the shitty, I mean, yeah, the shitty light one. And then uh, we'll put that for the for the return trip. We'll put um, what else? A little bit of water maybe. Is there anything else we wanted to put? Um, I think I'll keep the leather to repair things with. It's not very heavy. I don't need both accelerants, I think. You can always light a flare. Okay, that looks decent. We're at 51 pounds. Okay. Get our lantern ready. Uh, use this outhouse here. Oh, what? It's disappointing. Beautiful. There's a bunch of coal here. Not going to be picking it up because we don't need to run the forge. Um, maybe I'll pick up one piece for a fire. I, you know, I think it burns for a while. Have I found a moose? Not in this game. I found a moose um, playing alone, and I have killed a moose. With uh, with a rifle. Um, maybe I will pick this up. I'll just put it at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I've also been trampled by a moose. 
And I think you have to sleep for 25 days to recover. It's kind of ridiculous. He, he breaks your uh, ribs. <laughs> Why was I alive? got to stream your whole life. You know, I kind of, I mean, I like the idea of recording because, you know, sometimes when you're playing a game and you you think, oh man, I wish I had a recording of that. That was super cool. Um, but, uh, not enough, not enough people, I think, come and hang out for me to stream the boring parts. Uh, so I have to have to stream the most exciting parts, like me walking through a cave with a lantern. Oh, what is all of this stuff? Hello. Okay, nothing. Locked, locked. Oh, a newspaper bowl. Cloth, rifles, tools. You live for the boring parts. Um, yeah, I was saying earlier that uh, Pale just told me he was like, "This is a really bad game to stream because it's really boring." <laughs> uh, and I can see, I can see where he's coming from. All right, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just following the left wall, the old left wall strategy here. So hopefully that works out. Some, something, something. Ooh, this is this is different. So there's a staircase, and then there's another tunnel. Oh, which doesn't go very far. Hey, it's got charcoal. Wow, great. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I decided that I would pick it up because I can drop it when I get to the other side. Um, but it does weigh quite a bit, and I'm I feel her slowing down. Oh, look at that. There's stuff over there. Looks like uh, rifle uh, ammo. But we continue this way. Burned up quite a bit of fuel, honestly. So... That looks like the exit. I'm going to guess that this leads to that ammo. Um, but we saw the light up there, so that's got to be the exit. Yep. Nice. Five bullets. Nobody needs this anymore. Very good. Those are all useful things. Won't be picking up any more coal, except for that piece and that one. Reminds me of a scene from The Jerk. With Steve Martin, and he says, you know, I don't need anything. And then he, except that, except that, until his arms are full. Okay. Well, we made it out the other side. Sure, a lot of little, good little stuff in this cave. Um, the problem is, there's no. This problem is there's no box here. It's just the ground. So I'll just have to drop it. But what are we going to drop? Let's see. Um, how about 10 pounds of coal? Let's... Uh, let's refuel this, and then we'll drop them both. So, drop, drop, uh, 
I thought you could move it with right click, but it's not working. Um, all right, 57 pounds now. We've got these tools. I think we can drop these tools. I'm just going to drop on the floor. There's nothing else I can do with them. Drop, drop. Honestly, I drop the wood. The... Probably shouldn't have done that, but... Okay. Um... Before we head out, I want to repair these because these are rare enough that we do not want to break them. I don't think they go away. No, I think everything stays. I, if I'm wrong, well, then I'm really fucked, but I think they, I think they stay. It's going to take an hour and 60 minutes. Damn. Beautiful, though. And we're, we've got these wool mitts. I think we're good. So, um, so I'll drop all the rest of this material like that. Um that and we can drop at least two of these flares uh, I, I kind of think it m might be true to carry the bullets because what if we find a gun but that kind of thinking just gets you heavy. So we'll leave that. And at this point, we're at 47, which is pretty damn good. Um, I'll drop another flare. OK, I drop that thing. I really wish we had a box. You know, that would be cool if you could carry a box and then place a box down so that you could put items in it. That would be neat. Like, imagine carrying um, a filing cabinet and it's like you're really slow and it's really heavy, but you carry it across the map. Now you have a filing cabinet. Or just like a small tin crate, you know. Anyway, anyway, we're looking great. Yeah, we got two coffee cups. So, um, I'll I'll use those essentially if I'm if I'm too tired. I I don't know. Maybe I should have used them already, but. They, they make your sleep go down slower. Your rest. Um, I, I don't... We have half our rest. So I feel like we should be able to find... Oh, shit. So I can't see anything. It's not cold, but I can't see anything. Oh, a stick. Jesus Christ. Well, that's quite a drop. We're like above the tree level. All right, well, let's, um, let's try sleeping an hour. If it gets too late, we have to stay the night. So 
Uh, well, I hope that's not the case. It's actually pretty late. I think that's better, yeah? So, I vaguely think that there's a road. Um, so, I've been here once. Uh, single player. But I just, I, I haven't spent the kind of time uh, that I need to know these places. It's like a road. If we can find the road, we can find a house probably. Well, this just kind of opened right up, huh? Shit. I am going to go ahead and call it. I'm going to get lost as fuck on this map. So let's remember this, huh? That's, that's how we get back. Let's not forget, it looks like a ramp. Okay, got it. Can't, can't fail now. Um, I'm sort of following this thing because it looks like a divot, like, like a channel. Otherwise, it's kind of featureless out here. It's just woods. Here or see you. As soon as I said that, should we check it out? If we see another ramp, we're fucked. What if it's all ramps? It's just a map full of ramps. This looks too steep, but there's a body of some kind up there. I don't know how to get up there. Maybe from the other side? Did we... We still have meat. Fuck. This um, attracts wolves. Oh, there's still a little bit left. Let's hope it only smells a tiny little bit. Oh, speak of the devil! There's a wolf on that hill! Stay away. Oh god, the weather's changing too. I can't see anything now. This looks like a road. Doesn't this look like a road? Like, Oh, it's it's a road. It's a road. I see light uh, electric, electrical lines. Let's, um... Let's go for this body here. This looks like a cave. Surely. Surely this will be fine, right? Just go into this dark cave and no bear. See anything in here? Usually there's like a backpack or something. This guy didn't have anything. You suck! No wonder you died. Jesus. Alright. Well, forget him because we've got ourselves a road. And some sticks.
Um, so this road, I think, is going to be like our train track in Mystery Lake. It's going to be our, our, our guide. It's going to be our, our center. It's going to be our lover. Um, two roads diverge. Also, what does this look like? There's a tr there's a fallen tree. There's a fallen tree. Well, we'll be able to find our way back. There's a fallen tree. We can't miss it. Take a left at the fallen tree. Go past two McDonald's and turn right when you get to Burger King. Um, night is upon us. Well, there's a car, so we'll probably survive. Maybe there's somebody inside. Oh my god! It's the walking dead. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, there's a, it can only be one fallen tree for sure. I like that she's sitting in a car with the bow drawn, you know? She's like, nothing's going to get me in here. Um, it's, it's really getting really kind of dark. I had hoped to find a house. I have to admit. This is like, this is like a fucking ambush. Like, there's going to be uh, rebels on the hills shooting at me. End of the road. But he's got a crowbar. Holy crap, it just got really fucking dark. Alright. So I'm I'm gonna run. I sh I probably should. The problem is well, you're probably right. Uh, I can't sleep through the night, though. And I always like to have something to do. Well, let's eat this. Let's tear these apart. Uh, it's not really anything to do. So let's see. I think you just go s rest. That didn't use the the sleeping bag. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out in this um, pitch. This is worse than being indoors at night. I can't see. Um, she's going to wake up and she's not going to be tired. 
I wish I had that luxury to, to wake up and not be tired. I wonder what that's like. So at this point, I, I don't think there's anything that we can do that's useful. We don't have any sort of stuff to craft or tear apart or... <clears throat> so I will pass time. Uh, dawn is coming up, but... It's still too gray to see anything. There we go. Beautiful. What a beautiful night spent out in the... Oh, it's really cold. It's, re it's really cold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, it's cool. It's no big deal. We've got food and water to last. It's like Folgers instant coffee in your hand. I tell you one thing, Folgers instant coffee is actually pretty good. People talk about all this artisanal coffee made from ferrets. They have coffee where they feed the coffee bean to ferrets and the ferrets poop it out whole and then you make coffee out of the coffee bean. Fuller sense of coffee is pretty good, I have to say. Uh, it may not be ferret poop coffee, but it's pretty good. So, it's too cold. Can't sleep. We'll pass, uh, pass another hour. All we want to do is have travel weather. We, we're going to find ourselves... Shit, it's cold. If it were one arrow, I would go, but it's two arrows. My worry is if we go out and we can't find something. Then what? Drinking animal poop. Well, it's not literally the poop. They poop it out and then they wash it off. And apparently the digestion does something to the coffee bean, but it's like... It's ridiculous, you know. All right. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. Oh, it's getting worse. I'm going. That's not a road. So, uh, there has to be a house on the road. That's where houses live. Um, clean poop is better than just regular poop found on the ground. I mean, that, yeah, that's definitely true, right? It's the wind chill. If you stay out of the wind, it's okay. Let's get a view of what's going on here. I don't see anything. That looks like civilization. But, there's this river. Oh, and a bridge. That looks like something. see any houses but let's go to the bridge oh it's warmed up oh it's beautiful wonderful I wonder if we can find some of our best friends down here nature's hot dogs look at that oh nutritious and delicious did I just shoot an arrow? No, don't think.
All right, we've got single cold. Single arrow. Yeah, I remember the bridge being important. Oh man, yeah. Love these things. These things are better than Stacy's grape soda. Bridges are all important. If they fall, we're all dead. There was a big thing a couple years ago about oh houses about bridges falling down because they weren't spending enough on. The maintenance of infrastructure. Well, I believe we found um, our stopping point. We've got multiple houses. Let's see, two houses and a tractor and a road. So, okay, so basically we can just follow this road to go back home. Everything's great. And we can keep going down this road for more adventure. So I think, uh, I think I'm just going to stop here and next time we'll pick up and we'll loot these houses and we'll head on down the road. So um, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Lurker, Joey, anybody else is still here? Um, I hope you all have good nights or days, depending on your time zone. So uh, see you next time.